we have 100 days to be all of Powered using only Grass types. Can we do it? Who knows? Let's find out. We're only allowed to catch and breed Grass types in this 100 days, so let's get it straight underway. So we start off our Power World adventure, obviously only using grass types, but to start off we collect some wood and some stone and then we make ourselves a crafting bench. With that we can make ourselves a pickaxe and an axe and then we can collect some resources to be able to make our power box. So we're just going to put down some little foundations just like this, like this, like this. Alright, that could be our first little base. Oh, look there's a dinosaur. I kind of really want that, so bad. I then found out that we could make a bow and then I could make some arrows for it. However, I realized I was pretty poor and didn't have the resources. Oh, there's a there's a wandering merchant. I don't we have a little bit of gold. We might be able to buy something. Uh oh. Um well, I went around the area and this was the first power I could see and obviously it's our first grass power which is a gummos. Um... <laughs> Boom. 87%. Come on. Come on. 94, 99, 100, Oh, we got bottom of the stomach, but that's fine, we got a first, got a first pal now, so, we built our first bed, and we can sleep the first night, and, there we go, just got absolutely destroyed, and so am I, okay, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, gotta go, gotta go, oh, dodge, Trying to catch the Caprity didn't really work, so I managed to make my way all the way over to the first tower location. As I was there, there was a Lift Monk, which, you know, is our next Grass Pal. So I did what I did, and I threw a Pal Sphere at it, and we managed to get a Lift Monk. Came back home, and we made ourselves our first little, I guess it is, farming area? And then we can make a fire bow and eventually a login pit for our base. Fuck it, we'll just we'll throw one. Let's see what happens. Well, that didn't go to plan really, did it? <laughs> the next morning, there was a dinosaur at the edge of our base, so I took it the opportunity, obviously, to try and whittle it down and throw a few power spheres. Ooh, 100%! And... Oh, we got dinosaur, it's so good. I wanted to try the penking fight, so I was just gonna go straight into what the fight with everything I had, and this is how it went. Mm. Monk, take out this one, take out this one. Woo! I can dodge the ball. Oh, I'm dead. Well, there goes that. I then needed some civilization part, so what I did is I went and tried to fight penking again, this time taking out little penguins, and I feel like this one went a lot better. Um, boom, and boom. There we go. We done it. Nice. And we can get our ancient civilization parts as well. Oh. Using those civilization parts, I was able to actually build an egg incubator. And I actually had this scorching egg from just one of my travels. I managed to find it on the way, which was super, super lucky. Obviously, I'm not allowed to use this in fighting or breeding. But, you know, having a just a fire type pal in our base will make cooking and everything actually doable. So, hopefully we get something good. Right, let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something that we can use. Just we need one thing we're kindling. Just one. So come on, be good, please. We've got a ruby. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. So we can chuck this guy into our little little place in here and there we go, we got our first fire power. Obviously I then built our next uh, objective which was obviously a furnace. However, obviously after the night I went exploring and for some reason I don't know what happened, but I got a wanted level, and these millions and millions of NPCs just started to come after me with guns and everything. So I just kind of accepted my fate, and I was just going to let them kill me. Okay, well, there goes the first death, I guess. When I went back to my base, I managed to find a second dinosaur. So I threw a few power spheres at it, hoping for the best, and well, this is what happened. 76%, come on. 89. 100. We got him on the last one, oh my god. I then decided I wanted to try and go get some more beefier powers, so I went out and started shooting the absolute crap out of this Mosander. Literally the absolute crap out of it. 12%, come on. 
Ah bon. Oui. 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 Oh my god, we got it. Oh my. Level 20. Oh my god, this could be great for us. 30%. Come on. Don't do it. Ooh. Come on, 30%. Come on, come on. 60. Come on, come on. Yes, we got 100. All right, we're good. We go. We gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. I then went over to the Pound Gear workbench and I was able to make a Dino Son saddle, which is gonna be game changing for us for real, honestly. Just having a mount which is that strong is going to be crazy. I then made myself our breeding area for later on, and of course a hot tub because everyone needs a hot tub in their lives. Of course they do. Come on, it's, it's a hot tub. For the powers, like how how nice of a person am I? Oh my god, look, the dinosaur's just having a bath. Oh my god, that's the most cute thing ever. This is probably one of my favourites. I'm gonna have to build like a really good dinosaur. Oh, <laughs> so adorable. Okay, so now we can unlock the second base. Boom! Okay, so we're gonna build our new thing next to this church. This little church, I'll show you where it is on the map, but we're gonna put this here. I then decided I was going to go and test our new dinosaur saddle out. However, I forgot to bring food, so he was starving a little bit. But, I mean, he's fine. He's fine, right? But, eventually, I was able to get this Mammarist all the way down. And we was able to just start throwing our power spheres and hoping for the best. Oh, my God. Two. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Um, whoa, oh. first ball, oh my god, that was ridiculous, it's actually ridiculous. I know it is night time, but we're going to send it, we're going to do the tower, I, I want to do it, I've been, I'm ready to go, we've got our, we've got our squad together, we're just going to send it, let's go, let's do it. Ooh. First boss, oh, this is cool, this is really cool, oh. Oh my god, it's like a Pokemon battle. Uh, okay. Uh, okay! Well, Grisbolt and Zo. Oh my god, we do so much damage. Ooh, dodge it! Ow! Ow! Go on, we'll send up. Nice! I don't know what level you're supposed to be for this first boss. Oh my, he does so much damage. Go on, go on, man. Go on, oh! Okay, we're gonna finish it off with the lift monk. Let's do it. Get on my head. And let's fire! There we go, Zoe is dead. We done it. We done the first yep. boss. Hell yeah. Now what? Oh. Oh, we unlocked the waypoint on the top. Ooh. There we go. Oh my god, you can see so much. Okay, well, there's a level 23 King Packer. We're going to give it a go. I want to get the civilization parts for this from this, so we're just going to absolutely. Ready? Light him up! Oh, that does not do as much damage as I thought it would. Uh oh. Ooh, good luck. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. No, it's fine, it's fine. Dodge it. Dinosaur, I believe in you. Oh. There we go. Oh. We're going to give this another go. It's the Bronze Cherry Aqua, but we are higher level now. We're level 23, so we should be okay. Question mark. Let's go! Boom! Seed mine, seed mine, seed mine. Drop, go! Good luck! Go on, dinosaur, I believe in you. Okay, we've got him down to about half. I'm just been running around. All my pals are getting hungry, which is bad, but I mean, we're, we're, we're doing it slowly. Very slowly. Come on, please. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god. 
got. And we leveled up, finally. Now we have a water team. Everyone's just dead. Everyone. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. And now we can actually go water stuff. Oh my god, this is great. We can actually get plantations and food and everything. <laughs> we was gonna breed to get a, hopefully to try and get a dig twist. If you breed a, a Mossander and a Tansy, you have a guaranteed chance to get a start breeding. And then once we put a cake in, we should get an egg. And hopefully it should be a, a dig twist egg. Oh my god, look what I've just found. A huge rocky... Oh, gotta go! What is that luck? A huge rocky... I don't even know what you... I think you can get Anubis from that. Oh my god, that could be like the best thing ever. What about now? 8%? Oh, sh that's not very good. I don't know where this monk's going. Ooh. Oh god. 9%, come on. 36, 38. 7, oh, we got it. Nice. There we go. One, a large rocky egg. Okay, we have enough stuff to be able to make another one of these as well, so. Um, I was just chilling in my inventory and I see that I have a Elizabeth staff? I, I don't, I guess it's just a spear, but. I don't know, I've never seen this before. What the fuck? It looks sick though. I then decided I was going to try and do Verdash level 35 and it went as well as you would expect, so yeah. I insta died. Okay, we got one of our eggs, let's do it, let's see what we get, come on, give me a dick toys, hopefully. There we go, dick toys. Using the same technique to get Dig Twist, I was able to breed a Morsander and a Elizabeth to be able to get a Ragnarok. Now this has level 3 kindling and yeah, this was going to be a very, very big help for our base. Now I wanted to go and do the Bron Cherry Aqua as we needed a water power for the base. Let's go! Boom! Okay, we've got him down to about half. I'm just been running around. All my pals are getting hungry, which is bad. But I mean, we're 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 doing it slowly, very slowly. Ooh. Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes! God. And we leveled up, finally. Okay, finally we can put this Bronchary Aqua in our base. And now we can actually go water stuff. Oh my god, this is great. We can actually get plantations and food and everything. Oh my god, look. Look how many thwacks there are, what the fuck? What the thwack? Holy sh... Uh, I think I disturbed the meeting. Don't worry, Flax. It's okay. Come back. <gasps> oh. Yep, sadly I found my first shiny and it wasn't a grass one. So i done what I did best and absolutely destroyed it with Lefunk. I got some civilization parts at least, you know? Useful. I went adventuring for a little bit and I found a Robin Quill. Now, this was a pretty good pal for us to have. It's pretty good at fighting and I just feel like it'd be quite useful. It's got two handling as well, so, you know, in base it's going to be pretty good to have just around. Okay, I think we're going to move our main base location. I think I'm going to chuck it here. It's quite a nice spot, actually. It's quite flat and we've got a fucking crazy good view, so... I think I might chuck it here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually destroy the mining base for now. And boom! There we go. Okay, I basically built a somewhat stone base to begin with. Um, this could be like the little farm area we've got going on. But I'm just going to start building the farms and stuff and then I'll be back. So I made some base improvements. I put down some farms. I put down the tree logging. Um... I guess farming thing and I put down the stone one as well 
and then eventually I made enough or oh, got enough stone to be able to make this structure in the middle so I put in all our workbenches and I was eventually going to put all the power beds up on top of the main structure of the base. I made some cold resistant metal armour and then I was going to take this metal armour up a mountain. So that's exactly what I did. I started climbing this mountain all the way up because we wanted to get to the next boss tower. I'm not having a fly, it's awful. Okay, I climbed all the way up. It was time that we take on the second tower. So here we go, let's do, it. do good enough. Okay. Oh, is that Lily? 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 Oh, that's the. It is Lily and Lillian. Ooh, grass time, so it's not gonna be easy. This might be our toughest one yet. But let's see how we get on Mammoth, good luck. I just threw you out into that, but you got this, I believe. That was always ground attack, okay. to the local market and we had the chance to buy 20 electrical organs and we was going to need these to be able to make our power generator. We already have a electric power so we didn't have to worry about this. So there we go, placed it down and we had a generator. Okay, finally made it to one of the places on the island. There we go. Town fisherman. Fisherman's hut. Now, I decided I was going to go and fight Wumpo at Botan. This is one of the grass bosses I just found around the area, so I did what I did best and sent Elizabeth out. <laughs> it took a little while and the catch rate wasn't the best. Two, three, oh my god, we got it. Once I went back to base, of course, I made myself a Mega Glider. Now, if you make a Mega Glider, you gotta try to make a glider out. So, I also built the weapons workbench and went and tried to kill a few more bosses. Got a war sink out of this, obviously, egg incubation and built a improved furnace. Using all the new bars, I was able to make this monstrosity. This thing is crazy. What is this power? With our upgrades now, I was going to try Lily and Lilene again, so that's exactly what I did. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on, Elizabeth, I believe. There we go. Jeez, that was still rough. I then decided I was going to go and try and get to the next tower. However, I didn't realise how far this tower was away. <laughs> this literally took forever. I was literally just climbing this for literally the whole day it felt like. Um. Well, I'm not as far up as I thought. Jeez. Um, well, hello. It's just me, Mosanda, and just at the top of the world. It's crazy. I can't see a damn thing. I still haven't built a hemp lantern, which is a problem. I'm nearly at the top. This is taking way, way, way too long. Like, literally, like, about an hour and a half to get up here. Not having a flyer is the most awful thing in this game going. It's brutal. It's actually brutal. Now I was up the mountain, I wanted to go and see and test what the boss was like. So, that's exactly what I did. Whoa. 
that's Ozark. I considering I brought a uh water type, but that's probably not the best, is it? Oh my god, that hurt. Robin Quill. Oh my. After that miserable boss fight, I decided that Elizabe could use some power up, so that's exactly what I did. I went and I bred up a few Elizabe and caught a few Elizabe, and we could eventually get our Elizabe to three stars. Now, obviously, using the power condenser, we could also use the statue to use our power souls to power up even more. I decided I need to obviously chalk off a few of the bosses, so we tested out our Elizabeth and we threw out our Warsect, and we was able to utterly destroy Jormantide. I then went on a little mining resource adventure and got some pure quartz. Now, the pure quartz is at the very top of the map, so I decided, you know, what's some better way to get down other than just like jumping off? So that's exactly what I did, I just jumped off. Using the quartz and a few other materials we had gathered, we'd actually be able to make the production line number two. There we go, okay. And boom, start production. We're getting our pump action shotgun, look at this. Okay, so we have our first pump action shotgun. Oh my god, I'm ready. We are going to absolutely destroy the bosses. You see this, Verdash? You see this? Uh-huh. Yes, you keep on making it. Very well done. Um, well, I may have forgot to record a Zorzek fight. But, you know, I did do it. I did do it. With our new shotgun, we was able to absolutely just obliterate it. I'm sorry. I forgot to press the button. <laughs> My bad. But we moved on and I was able to make the even more improved furnace, the electric furnace, which was allow us to make power metal ingots. With our power metal ingots, I was able to craft so much more stuff. I was able to craft some headgear, a new shield, and a few other pieces of equipment we was going to need. Now we have our new upgrades, it is actually time to try and take on the fourth boss. I didn't know what I had in store, so let's just see how we get on. Why has this one got security? That's kind of concerning to be fair. Um. <laughs> uh -oh. It's got a cool outfit, but I kind of do like it. Uh, oh, it's a fly, a fly, oh, great. Elizabeth is going to get absolutely just toasted, I feel like. <clears throat> I'm going to have to dodge every single attack. I skipped past the majority of this. I got him down to about half health. However, we ran out of time, and, well, you, you know what happens when you run out of time. You... die. Yep. We died. But, I mean, it was our first attempt, which, I mean, I didn't think was that bad. So, I spent some time re-jigging around what I had to do to try and beat this boss. I decided I was going to level up all the guards as much as possible, and then, obviously, a Lisby would be able to do so much more damage. I changed some water moves into their, I guess, move pool as well. And this time we was going to own this boss. Come on, come on, come on, we got this, I believe. This bee is just built different, come on. 
Yeah, acid rain. Come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on. Come on, please, 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 please. Just die, just die, just die, just die, just die. Just die. Come on. Oh, oh my god. You don't want to know how many times I've done this. Oh my god. And we've done it. So now we had fought the fourth boss, our journey to the fifth boss actually started. Now me and Verdash was going to have to climb this huge, huge, huge ass mountain. Like this was going to take forever, but I was doing it, I was determined, and let's see how we got on. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's just taking forever, but I got Verdash up here. We we've made it up. Um, I think we've only got that one little bit left to go, so we should be nearly there now. Yes. Um. Well, I've made it to the top. <laughs> There's an egg up there, but I can't. It's round the other side. Look, it's round there. So I got a, I got to jump off, which could be bad. So we're just we're just gonna send it. We're gonna hope for the best. Ooh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we should we should be fine. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> oh, right, there we go. We we've made it. We've actually made it. That has taken way way too long. Oh, don't die now. Okay. Only nearly take on the last boss. And then we got the legendaries to fight, but I just wanted to get all the bosses done within the hundred days, so oh, I believe it is a dragon type boss as well. So there we go. We're able to do the is it this side? Oh, it's this side. <laughs> What's over here? I got the world tree. Look at that. That tree looks sick. I hope that's a I hope that's a, like a playable area eventually. After managing to get to the top of the ice mountain, I decided I was going to try and prepare my best for the final boss. Now obviously I needed to try and get as much stuff and do as many bosses as possible, so we went and tried to kill Lali Noct. Now with our Elizabeth being juiced up as ever, uh, it wasn't too difficult to be fair. We just uh, let Elizabeth go at him. Go on Elizabeth! Grass tornado, fine. Dragon shot, nice. Yep. Keep the shot, okay. And. Bah. There we go. What are we getting in our chest? Future uh, technical manual, okay. And we've got a diamond, so we can, we can sell. Okay, we are here. We are at the final research unit, so we're just gonna give it a go. I wanna try and see how our Elizabeth gets on. But we're just gonna send it, so let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. I've not seen this boss yet, so. I believe it is a dark type, though, that's all I know. Oh, ice? Huh. Wait, is it ice? Oh no. Shadow, is that a shadow beak? Oh. So it is dark type. Uh, this could be a problem. I don't know how well our Elizabeth is going to deal with this. 200,000 health. Okay. Okay. Um, Elizabeth is nearly dead already. Did we do damage at least? Did we, did we do damage? We do, we do. Uh, not a lot at all. Oh my god. There we go. That's fine. So we gotta we gotta go back to the room board, I think. But that's fine. We've learnt we've learnt a lesson that we don't do a lot of damage at all. <laughs> This was the moment I realised this boss was no joke, so we was going to have to upgrade our arsenal, let's say. So I built the weapons, I guess workbench number two, or production line number two. I went to town and we was able to make ourselves some rocket ammo and the rocket launcher. 
Adam was able to do some power soul farming, getting some medium power souls, baby power souls, and some legendary power souls. So we was able to max the attack, defense, and health of our Elizabeth, along with yeah. making ourselves a few rockets and the rocket launcher. Now before I decided to do the boss, I wanted to try the rocket launcher out and see how we got on, so I placed down a power box and we was going to try and fight Palladius and Necrosmus. So it'll be nice. Use your other attacks, please. Oh, dodge that one. Come on, Elizabeth, just kill one of them at least. That will take so much damage. Oh my god. Dodge. Necrosmus is dead. Okay, nice. Oh, we only got Palladus. No. I'll be honest, it wasn't looking too hot, so I decided I was going to cut my losses and dip the hell out of there. After making a few changes and re-equipping and getting a load more stats for myself and Elizabeth, it was time to take on the final boss. Damage, big damage. I'm gonna use one of those solar beam. You can dodge that, that's fine. Keep, keep just at it, keep at it, keep at it. Elizabeth can take a lot of damage here, that's fine. Another rocket. Do ice cool. We can dodge that. Oh no, it got frozen. Uh oh, uh oh, please. No, it's fine. Do do, big damage, big damage, big damage. Come on, six minutes. Ice, dodge the ice breath, another rock. Yep, yeah, that one hurts, that one hurts a lot. Shoot another rocket. Dodge the ice breath, not bad. Icicle, I'm okay, gonna eat another piece of food each, there we go, Icicle Cutter, dodge it, Elizabeth, nice, another rocket, come on, come on, boom, another one, hey, we've got this, come on, keep shooting, Ooh. okay, that's fine, Stop that. Right, go. One minute. What? Drop the ice cools. Come on, come on, come on. 6k, 6k. One or two more rockets. Boom. Please, Elizabeth, finish him off. Finish him off. Come on. Please, 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 please. No, don't miss. Not now. Not now. Finish. Finish him. Oh my god. Rocket. Boom. Oh. Oh. So with that we had finally defeated the last tower and the fifth boss of Power World. So we only had a few other legendaries to try and kill. So I went and you know, I had to test out my rocket launcher a little bit more. Jetricon was the one I had to kill next. I didn't know how this was going to go, this is normally a pretty hard fight, but I had myself a rocket launcher and Elizabeth was cracked, so I was ready to try my best.
Okay, we're fine. What? 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 Uh. Oh. Woo. Uh. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> uh. I think we've done it. We, oh, uh, that's, <laughs> um, wow, wow, we, we defeated, we, we done it, I guess, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what just happened, but I'm just going to accept it and move on, I guess, <laughs> how could a flyer die from full damage? I don't, I don't know. Ooh, Frostallion, 13k, oh my god, 13k health, a lot of health. But we're gonna send it. Elizabeth? Do damage, go! Oh you. Okay, highly effective though. Go on, use, use the big, big damage boy, that moves. Not that move. Do, do, do. Just keep going, we've got 18, we've got 18 shots left. We got this. Nice. Got hit. Oh, big damage. Hit. Lesby, come on. We've got seven more shots. Ah, oh, we got this. Come on. Come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Boom. And dead. There we go. Okay. Holy crap. That one was a lot easier just because we had those OP fire moves, I feel like, with Elizabeth. So we managed to survive and complete most of the stuff in the game using only grass powers. And maybe a few other rocket launchers as well. But, you know. Um, I appreciate everyone watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. If you want to go follow me on Twitch, I will be doing these uh, on live stream, and I would appreciate a lot, but I hope everyone does well, and has a very good evening, very good day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. See you later, guys. Good boy.